हेलो चिल्ड्रेन सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ अवर चैप्टर नंबर फोर दैट इज सब्ट्रैक्शन सो चिल्ड्रेन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड वट इज सब्ट्रैक्शन सो सब्ट्रैक्शन मीन्स फाइंडिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू नंबर्स वेन वी फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू नंबर्स दैट इज कॉल्ड सब्ट्रैक्शन नाउ वट इज मिनुएंट द नंबर फ्रॉम विच वी सब्ट्रैक्ट देन सब्ट्रैन द नंबर विच इज सब्ट्रैक्टेड and what is difference the result or answer that we get after subtraction is called difference so just see a simple example here 163 minus 21 so let's subtract so 3 minus 1 we always start from one's place so 3 minus 1 what we'll get here 2 then 6 minus 2 4 and 1 we will write here so we will get 100 42 so what is 163 here that, that is minuend the number from which we are going to subtract then what is 21 here 21 is subtrahend the number which is subtracted okay and after subtracting we get 142 the result or the answer so what it will be called as it will be called as difference got it children so understand what is minuend subtrahend and difference okay now let's move ahead so today children we'll see how to check the subtraction suppose you have done you have solved a question based on subtraction now if you have to check whether you have subtracted it correctly or whether you get the correct answer or not so there is a method to correct the to check the subtraction the uh, question that you have solved whether you have done it correct or not to check that we will check the subtraction so to check the subtraction what do we do we add the difference of the two numbers to the subtrahend to get the minuend so let's take a simple example suppose number 36 and we are going to subtract 12 from it So six minus two, what we'll get, children? Six minus two, four. Three minus one, two. So what is thirty-six here? Thirty-six is called here as minuend, whereas twelve is subtrahend. And after subtracting, the answer we get is called as difference. Now, if you have to check whether you have subtracted it correctly or not, so what we can do? We can add the difference and the subtrahend. So let's add difference and subtrahend. So what is the difference that we get here? Twenty-four. And what is subtrahend here? Twelve. So let's add them. Let's see what we'll get. Four plus two, six. And three plus two plus one, three. Thirty-six. So what did we get here? We get the minuend here. That was the minuend. Thirty-six was minuend here. It means that our this subtraction is correct. what is children after getting the answer after getting the difference if we add the difference and subtrahend and after adding difference and subtrahend if we get the minuend it means our subtraction is correct got it now now let's see this example so the question is subtract 37000 Two hundred fifty-four from eighty-five thousand one hundred six and check your answer. Means you have to subtract and then you have to check whether your answer is correct or not. So let's subtract first. So first we'll write the minuend. Can you tell me what is minuend here? Yes, eighty-five thousand one hundred six is minuend here. This is minuend here and Thirty-seven thousand two hundred fifty-four. What is that? That is subtrahend. So now let's subtract. So let's start from ones column. So six minus four. What we'll get? Two. Now let's move to tens column. So there you can see zero minus five. So that is not possible, children. It means we have to borrow from the hundreds place. Or we have to borrow from the digit at the left side. Okay, so what is the digit at the hundreds place here? One. So we'll borrow one from there. So 
this digit at the tens place it becomes 1 0 10 and what will be left at hundreds place 0 okay now let's subtract let's see the tens column so 10 minus 5 what we'll get 5 now let's move to hundreds column so 0 minus 2 again that is not possible it means we have to borrow from the thousands place so there we have 5 so when we'll borrow 1 from 5 what we'll get so what will be remaining here 4 whereas at the hundreds place now we have 10. Now 10 minus 2 look at the hundreds column 10 minus 2 what we will get 8 here. Now look at the thousands column thousands place 4 minus 7 again that is not possible. It means we have to borrow from 10 thousands place. So when we will borrow 1 from 8 so 7 will be remaining here and this will become 1 for 14 the digit at the thousands place become 1 for 14 so 14 minus 7 what we will get 7 and 7 minus now let look at the 10 thousands column so 7 minus 3 4 so after subtracting here we get 47852 which is the difference here isn't it now to check i already told you how to check so for checking what do we do we add the difference and subtrahend so what is what difference did we get here 47852 and subtrahend i have already written here 37254 so now let's add them and see what did what do we get so 2 plus 4 look at the ones column 2 plus 4 6 then look at the tens column 5 plus 5 10 so 0 we will write here and 1 will be carried over to the hundreds place now 8 plus 1 9 and 9 plus 2 11 so 1 we will write here and 1 will be carried to carried over to thousands place so 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 7 15 so 5 we will write here and 1 will be carried over to ten thousands place now let's add ten thousands so 4 plus 1 5 and 5 plus 3 8 so what did we get here 85106 which was the menu end here isn't it so what does it show it shows that our subtraction here the subtraction that we did here it was correct got it children so in the same way you can subtract and check your answer okay and how you will check your answer you will add the difference and subtrahend if you add this uh, difference and subtrahend and if you are getting after adding them if you are getting the minuend it means your subtraction is correct okay children now let's see finding the now let's see how to find the missing digits so to find the missing digits in a problem on subtraction we always start from ones and then move towards left. We already know children that difference is equal to minuend minus subtrahend. Then suppose you have to find minuend. Okay. So to get the minuend what do, uh, what do we do? We add the difference and subtrahend. Okay. And then if you have to find the subtrahend. So, we, uh, we find the difference between minuend and difference. Okay. We subtract minuend minus difference. Let's see this by solving one example based on finding the missing digits. So, there you can see this is a subtraction problem, uh, problem and there you have to find the missing digits. There in the abbreviation only I have written the formulas to find the minuend subtrahend and difference okay so let's start from one's place so 2 minus 1 what is being given minuend and subtrahend we have to find the difference so uh, we already know difference is equal to minuend minus subtrahend so what is minuend here 2 minus 1 what we will get 1 now let's see the tens column so what you have to find here children we have to find here minuend and what is being given subtrahend and difference okay so to get the minuend we add the subtrahend and difference and what is subtrahend here 4 and difference is also 4 
so 4 plus 4 what we'll get here children 8 okay now let's move to hundreds place now we have to find the subtrahend so there you can see the formula subtrahend is equal to minuend minus difference so what is minuend here 6 and difference is 3 so to get subtrahend we will subtract minuend uh, we will subtract difference from the minuend so 6 minus 3 what we will get 3 here now look at the thousands place so to get the minuend what we will do we will add subtrahend and difference so subtrahend is 5 and difference is 2 so we will add them to get the minuend so 5 plus 2 what we will get 7 ok now look at the 10 thousands column so to get the what we have to find here we have to find here the subtrahend to so, subtrahend is equal to minuend minus difference what is minuend here 5 and difference is 3 so we will subtract it to get the subtrahend so 5 minus 3 what we will get 2 okay we will get 2 here so in this way we can find the missing digits now you can check as well so 2 minus 1 what we will get 1 here 8 minus 4, 4, 6 minus 3, 3, 7 minus 5, we will get 2 here and 5 minus 2, 3. Okay children, in this way you can find the missing digits as well. Okay, so now here I have given you some questions to solve to practice them at your on your own. Okay, you will solve them in your rough notebook. And you will practice them. Okay. One is the question number one is there where you have to subtract and check your answer. And the second one is based on finding the missing digits. Okay children. So this is the summary. These all the formula you have to keep in mind while solving. That how you have to find difference. How you will find minuend. How you will find subtrahend. Okay. So in this way you will practice for all the sums. And that's all for today. Take care. Bye-bye.